Alright, so now that we've downloaded and installed Arduino, we now need to download the Rokit files so that way we can have everything we need. So if you go to there, you can download the newest ones by clicking the link right here. Um, it'll then go through and it'll start the download. Alright, so once it's downloaded, we can go to your downloads folder and there'll be this Rokit Arduino 1091. Uh, we can click extract all and we're going to put it into your documents folder, so like this PC documents. And we'll put them all into there, so that way um, they'll be in one convenient location for us. Alright, once it's finished up, we can look in your documents folder, and there should be the file right here. And we can open it up, and there you should see some, like the hardware, libraries, Rokit, Rokit Brick, Simulator. You should see all these files. As long as that's all there, we should be good to go. Now what we need to do is we need to tell Arduino to look at this file. So we're going to close this down and open up Arduino. All right, once it's open, we're going to click on File, Preferences, and then right up here we'll have the sketchbook location. We'll click Browse, and we're going to change it um, to the Rokit Arduino one we um, extracted. So it'll be in your Documents, Rokit Arduino 109. Just click Open, and now it should change to that one up here. So we can hit OK. And then just as a double check, we'll close it out and open it back up. And we'll, do, we'll check to make sure that all of our needed files are there. So if you go sketch, include library, if you scroll down towards the bottom, you should see a smart inventor library. And if you see that right here, then you should be good to go.